Hello students, welcome you all in organic photochemistry. In my previous lecture, I described the energy transfer process in alkene molecule. So in alkene molecule, as I told, the inter-system crossing is not efficient and the triplet state is not so much populated. So that's why some other molecule like some carbonyl compound transfers its energy to the alkene molecule triplet state become populated and reaction then can occur by the triplet state very easily. Now, so during energy transfer process, some uh, collision complexes are formed and such type of collision complex, these are called as the exiplex or eczemas. So let us describe the exiplex and eczema formation during the energy transfer process. So, Exiplex and eczemas. So, as I told, during energy transfer, we have one of the donor molecule, and donor molecule in excited state, it interacts with the acceptor molecule. And during this interaction, a collision between donor molecule and acceptor molecule takes place and it generates one of the collision complex. And finally, what happens? This donor molecule comes to its ground state and acceptor molecule become excited. And this excited acceptor molecule, it gives you the product. Now, so this is our collision complex. In case of exiplex, in exiplex, so this is the case of exiplex actually. This is the case of exiplex where we have a acceptor molecule and acceptor molecule take, take its energy from different donor molecule. And during that collision, a collision uh, during that uh, interaction, a collision complex is formed, and this collision complex is quite a stable collision complex. This is a stable one. So how it is stable, and we can uh, we can show its stability with the help of molecular orbital concept. So here, why this is stable because uh, net stabilization energy it's come to be negative so in this case the net stabilization energy is negative so a type of attraction between this excited donor and acceptor molecule takes place or we can say the uh, electron cloud of this donor molecule penetrate the electron cloud of acceptor molecule, a collision occurs and the net stabilization energy, such one, uh, there is an attraction occur and net stabilization energy in this case is negative. Whereas when donor molecule and acceptor molecule, they are in underground state, here there is, there is uh, no stabilization and here the net stabilization energy is zero. energy is equal to zero due to the repulsion. So a type of repulsion here uh, occurs uh, when this uh, donor molecule and acceptor molecules are in uh, this uh, are in ground state. So due to repulsion this net stabilization energy comes out to be zero. Okay so, so uh, how we can understand uh, we can understand the that this collision complex is the stable one. And now suppose and suppose if we have an acceptor molecule, one of the acceptor molecule or excited acceptor molecule. Now this interact with the another acceptor molecule, and in that case, the excited acceptor and this uh, next acceptor molecule, which is in ground state, this interact. And here also one uh, type of uh, when means a collision complex is formed between a same type of molecule 
and this collision complex which is formed this is called as the excimers this is excimers now during excimer formation a uh, dimers are formed so dimers are formed during the excimers whereas we don't get a or we can say a monomer is formed or another type of uh, and some rearranged product can be formed when we get a excimer uh, exiplex so now how we can uh, understand it with the help of a molecular orbital concept suppose suppose when this donor molecule and acceptor mole molecules are in ground state so here suppose let's take case one when donor and acceptors are in ground state are in ground state or here the repulsion is taking place between two that is repulsion is there between two between this donor and acceptor now so how we can understand it by the molecular orbital concept so we are here understanding the molecular orbital concept for exiplex and eczema formation now suppose if we have a this donor molecule and this is our acceptor molecule donor molecule always having the higher energy than the acceptor molecule and suppose two electrons this, this is in ground state this is in ground state both are in ground state and according this is now this are in, that is bonding molecular orbitals when both are in ground, ground state now if you see here then the net establishing energy in this case when molecule when electrons are present in the bonding molecular orbital then here the net establishing energy is zero so in bonding molecular orbital net establishing energy this is equal to zero now anti bonding molecular orbital when one of the electrons here because they are in ground state then electrons remain in a bonding molecular orbital electrons remain in the bonding molecular orbital so here this is again donor this is again acceptor so total net establishing energy that is equal to zero two electrons because two electrons now i should i should fill the electron in a bond molecular orbital these are the atomic orbitals and this these are the molecular orbitals so four electrons are present in a uh, this uh, uh, atomic orbitals now i should fill this molecular orbitals so total number of electron in atomic orbitals are four and according to the hund's rule two electrons will come over here and next two electrons will come at this place so net stabilization energy this comes out to be zero now case 2 when when donor and acceptor molecule when donor and acceptor molecule are in excited state or they forms a collision complex so this is the case when collision complex is not formed this is the case when collision complex is formed now we have a first bonding molecular orbital suppose this is a donor molecule and this is acceptor molecule so this is excited donor now here only one electron will be present over here and two electrons here now anti bonding molecular orbital when a collision complex is formed so 
in anti uh, during collision complex one of the electron will go into the from donor molecule one of the electron will go will get excited and this is our acceptor molecule now you should fill the electrons in the molecular orbitals total three electrons are present in the atomic orbital now two electrons over here and one electrons over here okay and here only one electron is present in the excited donors so if you fill the molecular orbital then we should fill one of the electron over here now so if we see the stabilization so in bonding molecular orbital there is a net stabilization of how many two electrons are present in bonding molecular orbital one in anti-bonding so the total stabilization in bonding molecular orbital is by one electron so stabilization in bonding molecular orbital by one electron here also stabilization in anti-molecular orbital is by one electron stabilization in anti-bonding molecular orbital by one electron so total stabilization if you see two one electron here stabilized here anti-bonding molecular orbital is stabilized by one electron so total stabilization when a collision complex is formed is by two electrons that is by